This is Zach, late again for his first period class because he drove his car to school and couldn't find a parking place. Other kids in the class said this happens to them too when they drive their cars rather than taking the bus so they can stay after school for activities and sports. This led to a discussion about the big idea of transportation needs and the environment. Everyone had thoughts, opinions, and questions, so the teacher helped them formulate an essential question. How can we meet our transportation needs without further harming our environment? More discussion led to this challenge. How can we reduce the number of vehicles in the school parking lot each day? The kids in the class realized that there were many more questions that needed to be answered before they could meet this challenge. They formed groups to start collecting information. They consulted the school's library media specialist who helped them find books, articles, and web resources. They made an online survey where they asked teachers and students questions about how they got to school each day and collected data about the school's parking lot usage. They interviewed the district transportation coordinator and had video conferences with energy and environmental experts. As they worked to answer their questions, more questions popped up. They gathered their information, organized it, displayed it, and analyzed it, and came up with some possible solutions. From these possibilities, they chose the actions they thought they could actually do and that would have the greatest impact. They decided to create a database of teachers and students who wanted to carpool and match them up, and they made a page for the school website about the advantages of carpooling. They made a presentation to the school board about why a late bus and some bike racks would be an environmentally responsible solution to the parking problem. They created public service announcements for the local TV station and wrote letters to the editor of their town's newspaper about how it's everyone's responsibility to protect the environment and about how walking and biking is healthier than driving. After several weeks, they collected more data to see if their solutions were working. They found that fewer cars were parked in the parking lot each day and kids were riding the late bus so they didn't have to drive to school or have their parents pick them up. More kids and teachers were walking to school or riding bikes. The kids in Zach's class learned a lot about research and communication as they were learning about transportation and the environment. And Zach wasn't late for school anymore. This is Challenge Based Learning.